We're going to see today how simple it is to enter a new card in the Kentex system. So basically, the first thing we're going to do is to go under, uh, we can go under user card. On the user card, you have to enter the card number. If you don't know the card number, what you can do, it's uh, to swap the card on the reader. So by swapping the card on the reader, you're going to get an event that's going to tell you access denied card unknown. Once you get that event, so there's two ways you can add the card. You can add the card uh, directly from the user card menu, or you can go on the events on the desktop. You can do a right click on it and then select edit card. And then from that, you already have the card number in there. And then for the card username, you will enter the name of the card you want to assign it to. So let's say for the purpose, I'm going to assign it to Roland. And uh, under the general menu, under the general tab, other things that we have for the card information fields. Uh, if we double click on the card information one or all any other fields from one to 10, we can change the labels. So let's say for label one. So the reason we're seeing like, you know, card information one and information card in French, it's because the software is installed in two languages. So depending on the operator that's going to log on to the software, so it's going to see in a proper language for the uh, label of the fields. So for the English side, we're going to set it to, uh, for the card information one, we can say, so this is the um, license plate. And then click OK. Once we get that, we can enter the license plate of the car. And then second thing that, 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 is, that we need to do that is very important, it's the access level. So we need to set the access level for the card. By default, there is two access level. There's the none, which doesn't give you access to anything, or the always valid. The always valid gives you access to all the doors 24-7. If you, if you don't want to assign one of these two schedules to the user, further down, we're going, to, we're going to show you how to create access levels for particular doors. So for the time being, we're just going to assign the always valid. So once the always valid is assigned to the card, the next thing we have the miscellaneous tab under the miscellaneous tab what we have we can say like you know when the card is created so the card started today so that's why you have like you know the um the starting date as april 9 2012 if you want to use an end date you can say yes i'm going to use an end date and the card will be all will be uh, expired the next day and if you do it expired it will delete the card at the same time also and after that, what we have under the missions, we have the card state. We can set the card state to valid by default. Once it's activated, it's going to be valid. Or we can set like, you know, for the postpone, if we don't want it to use now. So we can set it to pending. And then there's different, uh, there's different status that you can assign to the card. And also you have the pin parameters. That is if you were using a keypad on the reader also. So you are going to be able to use the card or the pin in order to get in. Or you can use both combination reader and the pin at the same time. So the next thing that we can add, we can add a picture to the card by adding a picture. It's very simple. So right click, get picture from file. And then from that on your desktop, you assign the picture to the card. And then once that is saved, so now the card may have access to the door. And uh, if you want to see the picture of the person display when they access the door. So what you need to do, you need to go under the desktop, right click properties. And then from that, you're going to select message screen. So now, so now we can see the next time we're going to have an access granted with that card. So we should see the picture to pop up, to display at the same time. Access granted, and then you see the picture there also. And this is how simple it is to enter a card, a brand new card in the Entropa Special Edition. And as a matter of fact, as any Kentech systems. So that's how it is to enter a brand new card in the system. Thank you.